Howdy, <laughs> howdy y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, so for today's video, I wanted to film an affordable makeup video. Um, I haven't filmed in a while, so if I'm a little awkward in front of the camera, I do apologize. I do plan on filming more content in the future. I know I've said this in several other videos, but the only thing that's like stopping me now is like getting an apartment so I can have like a space to create like like right now my background looks a little messy <laughs> but that's because I'm in a dorm and like and it's just like there's not enough space to have like a white wall to just film in front of and I think it adds character to my videos at the moment but I do want to be able to have like a background that I can change around and like curate towards like the mood of the video and that's why I'm waiting for like when I get an apartment to do that but once it's summer like in the city or summer like once i stop having stuff to do for my classes at nyu i will be filming way more content around the city especially since it's getting warmer and there's a lot more stuff to do um and a lot of things are popping up so do stay on the lookout for that but i wanted to start off this video like before i do my actual makeup with some sound bowl healing um if this does not turn out right audio wise i'm going to you're going to notice a jump skip <laughs> but if it does turn out right then we're all good Okay, now that that's done, I think I hit a little too hard once, um, so I will definitely have to bring the volume down. But for today's video, I'm gonna do an affordable makeup, um, everyday makeup look, like my my new everyday makeup. And I fished through, and almost everything is affordable. The only thing, and this is my fault because I actually gave my family most of my um, setting powders that were affordable, and I kept my Laura Mercier one instead. So I'm so sorry, but I do know that Maybelline has really good ones. There's also LA Colors. If you go to the Dollar Tree, they sell a setting powder as well at the Dollar Tree. That one is not that bad either. It's kind of like more refined and like, and I know the Maybelline, um, the color range is like really good for those setting powders. So if y'all are interested in getting like an affordable one, those are my recommended ones. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier one now. And I'm so sorry about that um, and hopefully like in the future um, I don't want to take it back from my family but I'll like look towards like some other setting powders that are not those two and see whether or not they can compare to this one but this is so good but it's so expensive and you know we don't have to necessarily use them to get a use that much money to like get a good makeup look and I'm gonna show you that today with everything other than the setting powder so the first actually i'm gonna do my eyebrows first for my eyebrows i'm using the elf um brow pomade and this is an espresso so i don't have a spoolie so i just use this little thing right here and i've been shaving my brows so that i could do like the higher up brows because it kind of brings up your face a little bit um i feel like it makes you look more evil I like that look. Also, I have not talked about my hair, but child, I did my hair myself last night. <laughs> I'm so happy with like how, um, I don't know if you count this as being creative, but like into my own stuff that I've been lately. Like I love to do hair. I love to do makeup. I like painting. You know, I'm a, I'm a creative who just so happens to stumble upon <laughs> a business degree. <laughs> um, so like, it makes me very happy when I'm able to like do things. Ah, do things as it relates to um, creativity and like artistic expression. And I feel like for Black people, our hair is such a beautiful form of artistic expression. This pomade is a little drier um that i'm used to which i don't mind because i think it's much better for your makeup actually 
to stay on if the pomade like dries kind of matte-ish and it's a little gray in tone but that's okay because it doesn't look that bad in photos like in person like people probably won't notice it that much they don't um and I think it's mainly just the color for me like espresso was probably not the best color for me to choose but I think at the time I thought it was so that's that these are the brows I think this pomade to be honest with you this is probably like five dollars it's definitely not that expensive um usually my next step is my foundation and i'm gonna use the black radiance uh color perfect liquid makeup and this one is in cocoa bean i'm pretty sure this was five dollars uh the it's kind of like rubbed off actually so i don't have like the label but i know like it oh i'm about to use foundation without even having a primer this is an elf primer it's a silicone pretty sure it's like a silicone um face primer i i also rubbed off the i rubbed off the, the label a little bit but i will find this and i'm pretty sure this was also in the five dollar range okay so now that primer is on I'm gonna put on the foundation and it's the applicate the applicator is like kind of different from like most of the foundation applicators that I've like ever or like it looks more like professional makeup foundation for me like the way it's set up because usually what MUAs would do is like they apply it onto like a palette or something and then they do it I think I feel like and this is an uh, BH Cosmetics brush. This comes in a, into like a marble collection of brushes. Pretty inexpensive as well. Most of my brushes are actually BH Cosmetics. Because um, when I was like, when I was younger and I started buying brushes, BH Cosmetics brushes were like the cheapest ones and they're the ones that I could afford. So I've been so used to them and their quality of brushes that I have just not switched. I don't really find a reason to. Cause I've had these brushes for quite quite a while now, like a couple years. And like, there's really, really, really no reason for me to be buying so many brushes. Like I do only use the same like seven every single time I do my makeup anyways. After that's done, so for concealer, Okay, so there are two concealers that I could use. So this is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in Nutmeg. And this is actually an LA Colors concealer that I got from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna do the outer bits of my face with this. Because this is not, this is more to my skin tone actually. But the NYX one is a little like yellow and that's okay because I don't mind that but I would prefer to like have something on the outer edges to kind of counteract that as you can see like it's kind of light in comparison and I always bring I'm starting to do the TikTok way of concealer now because I'm wasting less concealer we're talking about budget so we're not trying to run out of product anytime soon and I um, reverse contour as well Concealer is done. So now for contour, um, I'm actually going to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and this is in Rich Ebony. This is a concealer, but this is a really good contour. And it kind of has like a similar bronzing effect because it has a red undertone. 
Okay. Now to um, put it all together, I'm gonna use the Real Techniques 221 brush. I actually ruined this because I've been making like poly gel rings with the brush, <laughs> with this part of the brush, so don't mind that. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier powder. Um, and I'm only setting where I put my concealer. And now I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush. This is a setting brush, um, and this is a 4-2 brush. I'm just gonna dust all of it off, all the excess. Okay, now to bring more the bronziness back up on my skin, I'm using this LA Colors. This is in Creamy Cappuccino, and I'm, I believe this is a foundation um, powder. But this has like a little bit of a redness to it that helps with like kind of adding to the bronziness of my skin. Okay. Her. So it's looking good. Um, now I'm gonna go in with, uh, I'm actually gonna do this first. I'm gonna do my lashes first just because I want them um, to dry before I put on the fake lashes. And this is the Milani Most Wanted Lashes mascara okay now that that's done um now I can go in with like kind of the other powders that I would use like blush and highlight and the my go-to palette for this is the Nouveau Neutrals BH Cosmetics palette this is a 26 color palette I have worked this palette up like <laughs> But there are certain shades that I have not used, and you can tell why, because you know. <laughs> but um, overall, for the price I paid for this palette, amazing, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. And I love to go in with this blush shade right here, because it's kind of like a coral color, like a muted. And for blush, I put it on the high points of my cheek, like literally almost where I put my highlight, basically. Because according to people, if you put it down here in the apples, it brings your face down. And we're really trying to bring our face up. And also do your nose. Because it gives it that rosy look. It's really cute. Okay. That's done. For highlight, also in this palette, I'm gonna mix these two shades right here, these two gorgeous shades. It's a really beautiful glow from these shades. And I do my nose. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go back in. I'm actually, I'm gonna switch palettes. So the next palette I like to use is the Patricia Bright Rich in Color Makeup Revolution palette. I'm pretty sure this is also a fairly affordable palette and it has a lot of bright, beautiful colors in it. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with, let me see if I can find a, Hmm. Where are my brushes? Oh, here's a brush. No, no brush. Here's a brush. I'm gonna go in and use the. So I'm gonna mix Model and Allspice. So they kind of just give you that like rich and red brown color. 
I'm gonna do it all over the top of my lid. Really right there. This is my version of glam. <laughs> Sometimes I even mix these colors and use it as contour. Cause you know, eyeshadows can be used as anything. Like eyeshadows can be used as setting powders. It's just the way that you figure out how to work it basically. Like you don't necessarily need to be bound by the classification of what the um, makeup item is sold as. And that's something I've learned. Like concealers can be used as foundations as long as you work it well. After this, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. It looks like this. I like to do um, a very pointed front of my eye, so right here on the I can point it out to do like a cat eye kind of To be honest, they're mainly even. Um, the lashes will kind of <laughs> block them out. For my lashes, today I'm using um, some lashes that I bought off of Amazon and I will link them as well. And we're back. So they look like this. These are the lashes that come in the, these are some of the random lashes that I purchased and I just keep them in a, the same place because I don't like wasting space. And I'm gonna use the Kiss Lash Adhesive, Strip Lash Adhesive, and this is the clear one with Aloe. Probably like all time best lash glue on, on the affordable market. I don't know if there are like more expensive ones that work better than this one, but to be honest with you, for the price, like why? Why would you spend more, I guess? <laughs> okay, so now that the lashes are done, um. I don't know why but I feel like they're uneven but it's whatever I'm gonna do my lips so for my lips I'm gonna do the I already moisturized my lips prior to starting my um my actual makeup but I'm gonna use the Milani stay put eyeliner in after dark um and this is all black but so I lightly do this initially and I overline my lips because I can <laughs> and so and then I use the blending end of it to blend it up and it kind of comes off as like a dark brown in a way after I'm done blending okay so now that looks like that Next, I'm gonna go in with this Color Meets um, brown pencil, and this is actually from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm gonna go in right above that a little bit. And a little more towards the center of my lip. And then, on top of everything else, I'm gonna use this NYX Butter Gloss and this is in um rocky road super pretty i gotta put a little bit on my inner lip and usually i just like to like experiment with different colors but for today i was really feeling this one so and i think on top of that i should put on gloss um let me get my gloss real quick this is a good old-fashioned coconut oil lip gloss from the beauty supply store and i'm just gonna lather that right on top because we love a glossy look oh 
and that is that and I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope this was helpful I hope you found some products like new products that you probably want to buy or look into this is the full face it's it's kind of giving glam in my opinion um I do apologize about the Laura Mercier powder I will definitely look into more powders and see if I can like list them down below but I will see you guys in the next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I love you all so I'm currently editing and I noticed that I had like a kind of like a white cast over here but I really wanted to show that it's not really noticeable in like natural light um so it looks more like a contour I do have a darker neck then i do my face but i match my face to my like body rather than to my neck because i'm trying to like improve my neck shade but i just wanted to show that because it was bugging me while i was editing and i was not about to have nobody clock me for that so um viewer discretion is advised that's all i had to say about that